Today on Toyshes, the multiverse variants continue. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toyshes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we are totally checking out the brand new DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys' Injustice series Dr. Fate. Two Dr. Fates, to be precise. The Platinum Edition one, this little fancy sticker, it comes on the box right there. Really nice box artwork, Dr. Fate, Injustice 2. You really wouldn't know that, look at him, he just looks like a souped up Dr. Fate. I just like him for that, to be honest with you. Side of the box, DC Multiverse, yada yada, and then you have the standard non-Platinum Edition Dr. Fate. Same exact box, same exact artwork, same exact barcode on both of them. So, yeah, finding them, not going to be a cinch. But here's the barcode in either case if you're looking for them. And yeah, not only Dr. Fate today. We're going to be checking out the Flash Hot Pursuit figure and the Unmasked Shriek. And this is one that I've been really looking forward to. Big fan of Batman Beyond. I love the character of Shriek. There has never been an action figure of Shriek until recently. So you got masked and unmasked. So here's the barcode for the standard unmasked figure. And then you have... The Flash Hot Pursuit, and this guy again is from Injustice 2. So you got a couple video game figures going on. Just an FYI, Injustice Flash, also Dr. Fate, are being considered video game figures. So they will show up more in the video game aisle of Target. That's actually where I found mine. So this is going to be fun. I've already opened them, but you get the idea. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new DC Multiverse Dr. Fate. Both of them, including the Hot Pursuit Flash and the Unmasked Shriek by McFarlane Toys. So we'll kick things off with the Injustice 2 Hot Pursuit Flash. Comes with several accessories. Same exact malleable lightning speed effects that we got with the red version, the original version, of this particular flash and they all work they all attach they're okay for what they are it comes with the dc multiverse stand and for the most part it's a good looking figure i it just honestly doesn't do much for me i would recommend this simply in the sense of if you're a big injustice 2 or injustice video game fan looking at the source material for the most part it is pretty much spot on to the video game look for this character for this particular skin when you pair him up with the red version i kind of like the red one a whole heck of a lot more being that yes that's the flash's colors but i do like a different skin every once in a while for the video games of course the red one was just okay as it is to be honest i don't think the white one really does anything to elevate it it's just a nice fun chase variant and again, if you're a fan of that, then yeah, it'd be right up your alley. There's been several DC Multiverse Flashes so far, but in case of having a video game collection, if you're, again, a big fan of the Injustice 2, it's probably right up your alley. Now, this is the one where I'm going to say all day, I highly recommend it, video's over, right? Now, <laughs> this is the Shriek Unmasked. This is Walter Shreve. He comes with two Sonic effects this time around. They're disc shape, a little bit curved. I like that, fits around his paws. The previous collectibild Joker Bot one comes with more of like a reverberating kind of sound wave to him, but that head sculpt for that figure. It's kind of like what they do when Hasbro does the Black Series from let's say Clone Wars or Rebels and turns it realistic. They did that here and it looks amazing. That is a fantastic, realistic Walter Shreve Shriek head sculpt and I love the effects on his hands when you look at both of the figures yes it's a bummer that they just didn't put the figure together head and all right mask and all but yes it's a chase it's a variant figure it's meant to be be on the lookout for this guy I like the mask I like him holding it the mask is a little bit small for his head but you get the idea but when you have both and you have him unmasked and he's holding it that's pretty darn cool. I think that this is the one that I'm going to tell you all day. You have to have it if you're a fan of Batman Beyond. Speaking of which, yeah, he goes together great. Now, I'll be honest, the scale may be a little bit too big for Walter Shree from the cartoon, but he looks menacing. He's got the blast power sound effects going on from every angle, rotating him, turning him. Unmasked is fantastic. I love his suit. I love the way they did it. Definitely grab him. And last but not least is the two Dr. Fate action figures. Can you tell the difference? 
between the two. <laughs> they each come with a flight stand, so that's cool. They don't come with the black stand, I'm just using them to keep them standing for now. But yeah, the subtle differences between the two, it's more of like, do you want a lighter blue or do you want a darker blue? Standard darker blue non-platinum edition Dr. Fate. I'll tell you all day, this is a great looking action figure. I really like the use of the golds. There's sculpting everywhere. There's texture everywhere. He's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet. He got like the Egyptian Ankh Dr. Fate symbol thing going on. I really like the color of the cape. On the backside, all the paint is there. I like the folds. It's very, very cool. Even the helmet, I like the eyes. This is a solid figure in terms of the sculpt, right? The articulation, pretty dang good as well. The hands around the wrists, that's where it gets a little weird. You can kind of see the ball joint, and this is on both figures. It seems like they're not pushed in all the way, and yes, I did try, heated them up. But the other figure uh, does it too so in that sense yeah that's the one weird part i can say for articulation not much in the head you're basically going to go left and right you can't go back at all because of the base of the helmet right there on the neck he does have some nice butterflies He's got nice articulation in the arms the piece on his shoulder is rubbery and it works with the cape and when putting his arm up he has bicep swivel which again works nicely with that little piece he's got double jointed elbows which gives him some great articulation the ball jointed wrists i am not a fan of at all it does not look good on this figure that's the one big problem i would say with this guy other than that just the standard nitpicks extra hands effects things of that nature he's got one heck of an ab crunch let's say back ab crunch you kind of have to fold the rubbery part right there in his waist and he does go forward. So yeah, it does work quite well. And again, I love the cape. Cape works really nice. Now here's a problem that I noticed. Actually came off while I was doing this video. As you can see, the glue came loose on the skirt piece. So that's a bummer. But while we have it off, I'm gonna have to fix that. I don't care for that. That's the thing where I go, oh, I'm not gonna recommend it or just be careful, I guess you could say. Nothing tore or ripped, but you can see the articulation within the skirt piece and yes, doesn't have anything at the thigh, but he has double jointed knees, which works. He's got some nice ankle and he has toe articulation as well. So in that sense, it kind of works out. You get to see it. I'll have to get some super glue and glue it back together. On the blue one, which is my favorite one of the two. I really like that blue. It's like a really light to a royal blue. It's very nice looking. It works well with the gold and the lighter tone of the cape. Same exact articulation, same exact figure, same exact wonky ball jointed wrist. So I won't go into that again. However, some of the nitpicks I'll say, and, and then you know the skirt piece actually stays together on this one. So <laughs> that's a plus, right? Extra hands, Dr. Fate type hands, powers, effects, something like that. I'm really glad they gave him flight stands, but extra hands, especially stuff that has to do with Dr. Fate. Now that's definitely what this figure is missing. Now, we have previously gotten a Last Night on Earth Dr. Fate helmeted Wonder Woman figure, and she looks good. It's, again, one of those figures where if you want a helmeted Wonder Woman like that, sure, it's like one panel in the comic. I like both the helmets, although I think the one for the standard Dr. Fate is better. You could probably switch them out, but keep in mind on the backside, she does have sculpted in hair. It's more of a feminine face underneath, but if you want to try it, definitely give it a go. One of my favorite episodes for Superman the Animated Series back in the day was The Hand of Fate, when they both teamed up to face Carcool. That was an amazing episode. I love that episode, and that was my first introduction to Dr. Fate. I had seen him prior in the comics, but I couldn't tell you anything until I saw that episode, and so then it's just stuck with me. Again, this is a great figure, despite not having some extra hands and such, which it could really benefit from. The wrists are really wackadoo and then just keep in mind on the other one the skirt piece came undone and i had to glue it back together so that's gonna wrap it up for my look at some of the brand new dc multiverse variants chase figures by mcfarland toys in all honesty despite the weird wonky problems of the dr fate figure i would say just go easy on him especially in the skirt piece but i do like the figure although i'll admit all day yes some extra hands, and especially powers. That, that's like a no-brainer. He's definitely missing those. 
The Hot Pursuit Flash really doesn't do much for me. I think it's mainly for those that are a big fan of the video game. Maybe they like to collect the skins of the video game. In that sense, yeah, it's definitely going to work. It's a great figure. There's nothing really notably wrong about it, except not having certain articulation to get him in some good running poses. But the colors are nice, it's painted nice, and he does have several accessories. More than Dr. Fate. Just saying. The one I'll tell you all day to get is the Unmasked Shriek. I love this figure. Walter Shreve come to life in a realistic sense. It's amazing. Hands down, you got to get this one. But I am curious to know what you guys think about all these different variant chase figures. Do you have some? Do you have them all? Which ones are you after now? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, have a fantastic week. Live it up. And if there's time, go out and find some of these chase figures. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.